you've seen them behind the sky, bright orange and white, searching and rescuing. Our Madeline Salinas joins us live with one of the Coast Guard's primary missions. The first thing that comes to mind to me is water safety. Madeline, I know you have tips. I know you have lots of information. Good morning to you. Good morning, Barbie. And yeah, kind of like you said, these, these helicopters are massive. And I'll tell you what, now that I'm standing next to one, they're a lot bigger than you think. They're massive. And actually, right now, I'm joined with uh, Lieutenant Austin Ross. Uh, Mr. Ross, thank you for joining us today. Nice to be here. Awesome. So tell me um, a little bit about what, what exactly is your role in the Coast Guard? Uh, so I'm a qualified co-pilot in the MH-65 Echo helicopter. Uh, happy to fly this helicopter. It is bigger than I thought when I first started flying, but uh, that's what I do here. And so I know that a lot of work kind of goes into leading up to, you know, the position you're in today. How did your journey start and, you know, how did you end up here in Corpus Christi? Yeah, uh, I went to the Coast Guard Academy in New London, Connecticut. I uh, graduated there in 2017. I spent a couple years on a boat, about two years at a uh, boat, Mellon, out of Seattle. Uh, and then from there, I was at an engineering desk job for two years. And I got into flight school uh, for two years, and now I'm here in Corpus. So all told, quite a few years. Right. And so, um, you know, coming up, there's going to be a pretty big demonstration using the helicopter that's right behind us. Can you tell me a little bit about what people can expect when, whenever that demonstration happens this weekend? Yeah, so we'll be, we'll be doing a live search and rescue demonstration. We'll be using this helicopter here. Uh, we'll show you how and what we do uh, when we train and we act when we actually save some lives out in the ocean. Um, we'll, you'll get to see the rescue swimmer do some work, uh, get dropped down, save a simulated survivor, uh, and then bring him back up. Uh, from there, we're going to land at the park, Water's Edge Park, uh, and we'll where you'll be able to uh, take some pictures, sit in the helicopter if you want to, and it'll be a great time. And then I see this thing behind us. You were kind of you were kind of telling me about this thing behind us earlier. How was how is this going to be utilized uh, for the search and rescue? Yeah, so this is our rescue hook. Uh, when it's on and activated, this actually pays out. You've got about 200 feet of cable there. And uh, whenever we send down the rescue swimmer, this is what he's hooked up to. Uh, when we save people, when we get people out of the water, uh, they'll strap to them. Uh, they'll get a little rescue strap, uh, put it in the hook, and then we can hoist both of them up at the same time, get them in the back of our cabin here, and transport them to whatever they need. Awesome. And then quickly, just before we have to head out, tell me a little bit about what you're most excited for this weekend. I'm, I'm most excited to meet everybody here in Corpus. I just moved here and I'm, I'm happy to be here and uh, ex excited to show, share our profession with everybody in Corpus. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us here today. We really do appreciate it. And guys, uh, again, in about 30 minutes, we're going to be coming back showing you something a little bit different that's even bigger than the helicopter that's behind me. So make sure you join us when we're back. Barbie, John Thomas. Thank you so much, and Madeline. Looking forward to the event this week in the Coast Guard Community Event, where we'll have all of that information on our website at k at tv.com after the newscast.